Good morning, dragons. I'm Mr. Salerno, and this is Flame, and we want to welcome you to the News of Camelot. Today's Wednesday, November 9th, 2022. What is that sound, Flame? What is that? What is going on outside? What is that sound, dragons? Well, we're going to find out very shortly, but before we get going on that, let's see what Juman has to say. Take it away, Juman. Great job, Juman. We're so glad you led us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the Moment of Silence. Flame, the sun is going to rise today at 6.45 in the morning. And dragons, the sun is going to set at 5 o'clock right on the schnoz. That is so early. Flame, 5 o'clock. Dragons, I mean, looks like the sun is getting lower and less out every day. And if you look around us, dragons... That sound, that sound is people blowing leaves. All these leaves have fallen from the ground, right? And it's that time of year, dragons, where there are so many leaves on the ground wherever we walk. We see Mr. Van outside. We see Mr. Chiquillo outside and Mr. Nguyen blowing leaves and raking leaves. And that might be a job for you. But it got us to thinking on this Wednesday wandering, why are leaves falling? Dragons, why are leaves falling? There are so many of them. And if you look around here, you can see just how few leaves are left. And even the ones that are left, many of them are brown. Why is that? Well, let's find out. Ready, dragons? Leaves fall because, dragons, when the days get shorter, there's this special thing in plants called chlorophyll. And that chlorophyll, it gets less strong and a little weaker, and then it dies off. And other chemicals have to be the new source of food for trees. And they can't continue to provide the necessary water for the leaves to stay green and healthy. So what do the trees do? They have to let go of the leaves. And there's this little bit at the end of the leaf that actually gets just a little crunchier, right? Just a little bit. And that part of the leaf, it gets a little bit more uh, less attached to the tree and then something like gravity or wind or if it gets a little chillier it makes the leaves fall and you might have noticed today or tomorrow or maybe in the last few days more leaves were falling day in and day out there might be some trees that have a lot of leaves still on them but there might be some trees that have no leaves like this tree right here has zero leaves on it it's still alive and when we get to the spring the buds will grow and new leaves will be produced because it's a little warmer and the trees get stronger and they can hold leaves a little bit easier. We thought that was really neat. So the connection between the leaf and the tree is so important. And we see all these wonderful forests that went from having beautiful big tree leaves. Looks like they're such a big forest and now we can see almost right through them. So dragons, if you are wondering what it takes to hold on to the leaves, the trees that hold on to leaves, it's warm temperatures, it's water, and it's really strong root system that allows that connectivity to continue. Dun, 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 dun. It's time for the birthday box! But no matter what, Flame, even when the leaves are falling and it's getting chillier, the birthdays will prevail. Now, dragons, on Monday we had a little bit of a snag, a little bit of a snag with our technical difficulties, so we've got a lot of birthdays to read. You'll love this though, dragons, don't worry. We had no birthdays on Sunday. We had no birthdays on November the 6th. What a relief. So on Monday, we had Emilio Padilla. Emilio, happy birthday to you in fourth grade. And Madeline Pike, what's up, Pike? Happy birthday to you in third grade. That is great stuff. And then Miss Riley's birthday. Hey, it's Miss Riley downstairs. She helps so many children out. She's new to Camelot. She always has a warm heart. Happy birthday to you, Miss Riley. And then yesterday, on the 8th, we had Jacob Dennis. 
Wow, happy birthday to you, Jacob, in third grade. What a celebrate a fun election day. And then Olivia Maholland? Happy birthday to you, Olivia, in pre-K. And, oh, Matias romero Benegas. Happy birthday to you, Matias. Happy birthday in sixth grade. And then today, can't forget today, we have Taleb. Happy birthday to you, Taleb, in first grade. That is awesome. And Will Osterhouse. Will, hope you're having a great birthday. He's in fifth grade getting the job done. That is excellent news. And on a Wednesday Wondering Flame, besides having all of these leaves, you might also want to know what other changes are taking place as the weather gets colder, right? So when you get in your morning meeting, you might ask yourself, are there any other changes that take place either in nature or in my own home that are a result of the temperatures getting colder? And that's what's fun about nature. There are changes all around us, but there might be some things that we notice in the month of November to prepare us for winter. Tomorrow, Dragons, very special episode. Very special episode. We are celebrating Veterans Day on the news tomorrow. And we are celebrating bravery and the Positivity Project trait of bravery. So, on behalf of Flame, and on behalf of the gazillions of leaves out here, I'm Mr. Salerno. Enjoy your Wednesday today, Dragons. See the goodness, be the goodness, and we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone.